Hi, today I have three must-do leg exercises for active seniors. So many of my clients come to see me. They've been active all their life. They love to play pickleball. They love to hike and bike. But these things don't actually strengthen your legs. They're great endurance exercises. So let's get started with the squat. Using a regular chair, hands on your hips, chest up high, and your feet hip width or wider apart. You take your breath in, and as you're exhaling, you're bringing your butt back first. So you're reaching back towards the chair. As you start to feel that chair, just hover above, and then press your feet into the earth to bring yourself nice and tall back up. A couple of things, let's do it together again. Breath in, exhale. As you're going down, think of stretching the space between your feet and the space between your knees. I want you to hover. I want you to feel that you have the control and strength in your legs. You want to feel like you're working hard, almost like you're going skiing and you're like, whoa, really working down the hill. Breath in and once again. So this is going to give you the strength and ability to hover over a toilet, to hover over a chair that might suddenly move and you go, oops, you know, but you're there and you're in control and press all the way back up. And certainly you can start with a set of five, even 10 repetitions and gradually build from that. So let's go on to the second exercise. With your hands resting just softly above the back of a chair, I want you to, again, place your feet shoulder width apart. This time what we're going to do is we're going to lift both heels up, but we're gonna come down on one foot only. What that's doing is asking the leg that we transferred the weight to, to take the entire body weight and to be able to control the eccentric contraction or the slow lowering. So up with two, down with one. We're gonna do two more. Up with two, down with one. Sometimes you'll notice as you're going up that you don't quite make it holding it all the way nice and high. There are tips that I have in the video devoted just to this exercise. All right, the third exercise I want to show you, staying in the same position with the support of a chair if you need it. We'll start with our fingers just gently on the chair, shifting all your weight to one foot as you lift the opposite knee. We're going to bring that knee up towards the chair, and then we're going to bring the leg out to the side, and then all the way behind. Let's repeat. Let's try it just on one hand. And side. And up. And back. And side. Good, let's take that to the opposite side. And with time, as you get stronger, you'll find that you'll be able to do this without holding on at all. Straight back and side, and all the way up, straight back, and to the side, and one more time, up, straight back, and side. So use the, the support that you need to ensure that you're getting good form, that your knees aren't doing all of this, that you're able to do this with good quality form. Once you've built up doing several sets of the single leg, um, balancing stance and that takes a lot of strength. I don't want you to stop there. I want you to keep building strength in your body, both in your arms and in your core. And you're going to find these great exercises here in my playlist that I've developed just for you at an active level to be your best. I'm Margaret and thanks for joining me today.